of America. I think you should know me, right? Other half a replica. What is up, guys? It's me, David here, back here with a brand new video. Now today we are playing Forza Horizon 3 again, and we have a new car that just actually just got out about like 10 minutes ago, and I'll show you how I got that in a second. But first, we are going to look at the stats. Now this is the Quartz Regalia, I think that's how you pronounce it, Regalia, I don't know. And this car is from Final Fantasy, so if you play that game, I never played that game, so I don't really know anything about that game, but maybe it's something to look into. So, um, it is all-wheel drive. Yeah, it's 433 horsepower, 511 foot-pounds torque. It weighs a whopping 5,622 pounds. And... 7.2 liter. I'm pretty sure it is a uh, 7.2 liter V8 supercharged. From what I saw online, it is in uh, the GT cars class. It is five hundred thousand dollars, which obviously you don't have to pay unless you want to pay for another one. And let's go into uh, Forza Vista now. Now let's turn on the lights here because it looks really mean with the lights on. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna ex we're actually just gonna open this first. So these these are like little storage compartments, I guess you would say, and they open up like side to side like that into the middle. And you notice there's no motor there. There's no motor in here, which means you think the motor would be back here, but it's not. Also, you can't get in here. I don't know why you can't get in there. Maybe there is no trunk, but the motor is on the sides which is weird so that's how that works and then we can explode the whole thing and then the doors open up like that see so you could just the windows come down when you open up the doors so almost reminds me of like a Rolls Royce or a Bentley when I look on the interior, it's got a big back seat. Okay, so let's get driving this thing first. So, we're just going to back out here. Also, this is A-Class. So first, we'll show you how I got this. All you have to do is just go into your message center. And then, it should be in GIFs. Unless you have Final Fantasy, I'm pretty sure it's set online. If you have Final Fantasy, then they'll uh, text it to you through um, uh, messages right here. So let's listen to this then. It's definitely got that V8 grumble, but you can also hear that supercharger. Wind it up. Now this is all wheel drive, so it should have a pretty good launch. Oh, yeah, it does. Pretty quick off the line, I would say. Cortana, please go away. Cortana, go away. Want me to search for that? No. Okay, guys, I guess uh, my little friend there, I'm not going to say her name because I know she'll pop back up, but I guess she wants to make an appearance in my video. This is uh, pretty quick for being all-wheel drive, 5,000 and a half pounds. But now it's not starting to die off in the higher gears. Still pulling, though. It's a very long car. Oops. I think a match for this would probably, a good matchup would probably be like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. I think that would be a pretty good matchup. Uh, let's race this guy. He's hard in a Ferrari, but might as well. 360 Challenge Dale. 
will probably just uh, pull away. Oh crap. It's a straight line, so you know, I'm probably gonna lose, but. Now it does feel good to be back on YouTube again. I have taken a little break since summer started, went on vacation, had camp and all that stuff, but I think I will start making YouTube videos again because I am getting bored of summer. Now that it's about halfway through summer. Around this time, I always get bored. Stands a lot of body roll, I'll say that. I mean, just look at swaying back and forth. Well, we lost that head to head. Uh, let's go down this road. Brakes are pretty good. Slowing down 5,000 pounds, I would say. I love this way this thing sounds. Now, we are going to upgrade this and do some races in it. Or a race. So we definitely need to tighten up the suspension because it is quite wobbly, as you can see. Just taking through some back roads here. Oh, got a little lag spike there. Don't know what happened there. So if, what's it, what I was saying before we lost that head to head is that it feels pretty nice to be back on YouTube. Got some angle there. Not the best thing for drifting, but the, I would say the body roll definitely helps. It wasn't that bad. Could do a lot better, but for this car. Let's check out the interior. Hmm. Very luxurious. Looks like we got some dials in there. Maybe a boost gauge, coolant temperature, and all that. As I said earlier, definitely reminds me of a Rolls Royce. Steering wheel looks like a steering wheel that would be like out of like an older car maybe. Like it looks very big. Maybe it's just because the car is so big on the inside. That's just distorting everything. But So let's just go for let's a quick drive in the interior. Oh, it's backfiring a lot. Downshift. Okay, let's get out. And let's see how much boost this thing's making. Five pounds of boost. And it takes a lot, long time for uh, that to um, get up. Like in the revs, you have to be high in the revs for it to be making max boost. Greater hero hit. Brakes are really good. Okay, let's go uh, fast travel to the Horizon Festival. And we are going to upgrade it. Now it's an A class. So it's, I'm either going to put in A or S1. I think I might put in S1. I don't know. I'll have to see. So let's go to the garage, custom upgrades. Now, the thing that is weird with this car is that you cannot, like here, it's missing a thing. Like you can't engine swap it or put like a different turbo. Like you can put a turbo instead of a supercharger. I guess that would be like how like the engine is like on the sides. So this is probably just gonna be the normal Forza crap. Yo, gonna put a big wang on here. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing ever. The hood's like so long on this car though. It's crazy. Okay, so let's put um. What would look good on here? Should we do like that? No. Just do regular race tire compound. Uh, 325 millimeter front, 325. So 325 all, 325s all around. Cannot speak today. We're gonna do race clutch. Oops. Race transmission. Race drive line, and race diff. I think I will definitely be putting this in S class. Looking at the. 
After upgrading the brakes, I'm already almost out. S1, I want to put some power into this thing, so. Just going to do all of the platform handling. Put that uh, roll cage in there to tighten it up. So from uh, wobbling back and forth. We're going to do a race weight reduction. That brings us down to 4,326 pounds. Now we are going to... I'm going to upgrade the normal stuff that I do first. But I think that we might have to upgrade some other stuff. Yep, see it is a uh, race centrifugal supercharger. So it was right on that. Now let's just see how much I'm just gonna get to the top eight or S1 class. Not eight class. Do the pistons and pressure. Cause that'll probably oh. We'll get cams. Nope, too much. But it looks like we're gonna be stuck at uh eight ninety-eight. That's one. Can't get to nine hundred, but so we're gonna be ending off with uh four hundred or four thousand two hundred and forty nine pounds overall. And then seven hundred and thirty five horsepower at the top of S one class. Okay, we're just going to take this for a drive, maybe a race. Oh, I forgot the... Did it give me an option to change the rims? I don't know, maybe I just forgot. I like these ones anyways. Okay, so let's hear and listen if it's any different. Just revs a lot quicker. Launch is a lot better. That race weight reduction is helping a lot. Mm, brakes are pretty good. There's the train off in the distance. Let's catch up to that. This thing's actually pretty quick. I don't think it'll be this quick. It looks like we're gonna have to do some off-roading here, boys. Catch up to this train. It could be dangerous. See it off there in the distance. Watch out for the trees. Oh, there goes a the car dead. Focusing right now, it's fine being quiet. Uh oh. Quick shift down, nope. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I haven't seen the train in a while, so oh, got on that rail there and kind of screwed us up. Okay, this is not the answer. Oh, this is the tunnel. I'm just freaking racing. Look how dark it is in here. The lights don't even come on in the car. Oh, and there's the train. Uh oh. Well, I think we just destroyed our car. Wonder how much this would be in real life. Probably a lot, if it was a real car. Probably like 1.5 million, somewhere around there. I love the way this thing sounds, though. It sounds really good. got a triple exhaust there in the middle. I like that. Let's take it down this curvy road up here to the right. Let's see if we got rid of that uh, wobbliness.
Definitely feeling feels tightened up, probably due to that uh, roll cage and anti roll bars. Back end actually likes to step out in the corners. That's a little bit weird for an all wheel drive car. Must be more power being sent to the back. So overall, this car is pretty good. I like the way it looks. Now, I do not usually like really futuristic cars, but this actually fits in pretty good. So I guess that's going to be wrapping up today's video, guys. I hope you guys are happy to see me back after a while. I know I'm happy to uh, be back talking to you guys again. We are going to hopefully be starting the grind again. Make sure you hit the notification bell to know when new videos come out. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.